testing one two how are we doing there everybody i wanted to talk about marco stun i'm not going to take the gym corner approach which is necessarily to turn around and say this guy has absolutely no place in the uh in the professional wrestling industry but i saw a match that was on aw dark and it's between jake hager and marco stun okay now let me let me pitch this one to you. Marco Stunt is about four foot eleven and ninety pounds. Jake Hager is like six foot six, two fifty pounds. <laughs> All right, and <laughs> and Marco Stunt doesn't have like he doesn't have necessarily any muscle or any sort of physique to talk about. He does, you know. He, I mean, he can move and he can he jumps around like a little skater boy. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of like that. Is <laughs> but he's he's tiny and he is he is Mister Fun Size. I mean, when it comes to Jake Hager, I don't know what the hell's gone wrong for him. You know, first he joins the WWE and he's this all American wrestling whatever, and he's a super sportsman. And then his entire gimmick becomes that he sounds funny. He's got a lisp, and then. There was all that wonderful We The People sort of stuff, which, you know, excellent. Um, and then he joins AEW, which is supposed to be like your sports-based wrestling. It's supposed to be, you know, the cool alternative to WWE and all that stuff. And, like, he's just he's just been portrayed as some weird temper tantrum in toddler in this match he seems stupid he just he just uh, there's nothing badass about this i don't know what it is with his theme song as well holy hell i gotta i gotta hurt put in the put in the work go in and go in berserk see i've just improved it if you're a four foot eleven ninety pound kind of guy and you go into the ring against someone who's a foot and a half taller and about 150 pounds heavier well you want to portray the guy that you're about to go up against as some sort of badass. And Jake Hager ends up winning the match, obviously, as if anyone didn't know. As soon as he gets his hands on Marco Stunt, it's complete and utter domination, which is kind of what it should be in that sort of match, because anyone with a brain would be able to tell if this was a real fight, like, there'd be no chance in hell that Marco would do anything and i know people are like well wrestling's whatever it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be silly no it's poor writing it's supposed to resemble some degree of physical competition and you can't hide behind well there's different types of wrestling and whatever else no this was on a serious show this was on a show that was being purported to be serious this isn't comedy wrestling this isn't whatever else this is just silly marco stunts going to the ring and he's four foot eleven and ninety pounds or whatever. He is posing for the camera. He's running side to side. He's 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 kind of making sure his hair's right and he looks pretty in the camera, um, which you know, good for you, mate. Like for God's sake, man! If if you're about to get your ass kicked, and that is the script as well. That is what's gonna go on. That's what's that's what's booked. You're going out there. You're getting your ass kicked. For God's sake, look intimidated. Look intimidated. Look like you're about to go against somebody who's six foot six and hundred and well, hundred and fifty pounds heavier than you. You gotta walk to the ring like you've just been put in the ring with this beast, and you've been locked in the cage with the gorilla. You've been locked in the cage with a chimpanzee. You're about to get ripped apart, and you know that that's about to happen. What? what why wouldn't you present it as that? You want to make Jake Hager a star. You've got to have it so that he actually seems intimidating to people so that when later on in the story when jake hager's challenging for things or when jake hager is the enforcer on behalf of jericho or whatever else then you actually look at the guy and you're like oh yeah it's that badass it's that badass that everybody's afraid of some 4 11 90 pound guy running into the ring happy as larry as if nothing's, you know, not, not a care in the world. Not only that, I mean, I like the kind of you don't belong here angle of Jake Hager. He pulled, Jake Hager held up the ropes and was like, you don't belong here, leave. Which, you know, that's kind of cool because it gets a bit of sympathy for Marco Stunt because it's like, oh, he's this kid trying to live his dream and this big mean bully is whatever else and all that stuff. But to have it that Marco Stunt, Marco Stunt ducked under one of Jake Hager's strikes, which was one of the most clumsy strikes I've ever seen, 
right? Just clumsy as hell. Now, he's an MMA fighter. He's a trained MMA fighter. Are we to believe that this trained MMA fighter all of a sudden can't land a punch? But when Marco Stunt ducks under Jake Hager's strike, he starts to floss. Flossing! Flossing! Are you taking the piss? He did a floss. He did a flipping, the flipping stupid dance. That the, I mean, that wasn't, that's not even popular anymore at the time that he was doing it. He did that in 2020. It had already died out. Why has he got so much in common with Ninja, who plays Fortnite? Oh my God. It's, it's just this reminder. By the way, this is all phony BS. This is all fake. By the way, by the way, look at me flossing. I'm a 4 foot 11, 90 pound guy. I'm in the ring with a giant MMA fighter and I feel confident and assured enough to floss and to dance. Not only does it do it once and it isn't funny, right? Because it just wasn't. It was just like, oh my God, he's doing that dance. But he goes out the ring and finds a way to do this unfunny, stupid dance again, again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what planet are we on? What planet are we on where that's okay? When I watch a show, no matter what show that is, no matter how fictional it is, I want the ability to at least suspend my disbelief for a minute. I want the ability to see characters acting how characters would act. Not only that, but Marco Stunt did all his dumb dancing BS, right? And then just got his ass handed to him anyway, after somehow getting in some offence, which, you know, holy hell. Um... But he just got his ass handed to him anyway. So he was made to look weak and Jake Hager was made to look like somebody who isn't the dominating force that that match was hoping to portray him as. It didn't portray him as a dominating force, the fact that once he had got his hands on him, he had whatever. It was like, mate, every every man watching this show knows that they could beat Marco Stunt in a fight quite easily. Untrained, just from sheer size advantage, they could kick his head in. So if you can't, then you're a 6'5 MMA fighter that's 250 pounds, we ain't taking you seriously, mate. And that's the effect that it has, and that's the effect that it has when they do stupid stuff like this. So that's my take on that match. Um, personally, I think that stupid stuff like this is what's holding AEW back in their alleged war against WWE. I want this other company to do well. I really do. I would love it if it was an actual wrestling company that didn't call itself sports entertainment that was kind of competing for the mainstream. It, it'd be good for the industry, but at the moment, no, this ain't it. If you like what you see and you think I'm funny, uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Feedback is appreciated. That was straight up wrestling. Catch you in a bit.